I'm like, fuck spitting, nah, just kidding I'm always crashing like my phone cause it's bug ridden I'm just living, wishing I could better be Fuck tripping on the past, I'ma let it be One minute, I'm singing in the rain shower Next minute, I'm surrounded by my Mayflowers It don't take hours What's going on everybody, Dr. Freeman here And we are on Strike Zone And this is the first, uh, the first video in this series This uh, possibly three part series here And I'm going to start off with opening routes as we always do now on TDM, when you're starting on this side, this is about where you're going to be, somewhere right in here. And there's a couple of initial routes. You have two general ways you can go. You can either go up there and here, which is one, or you can go up the stairs, which is two. Um, I'm going to talk about going up the stairs first, which is not necessarily the preferred way in my opinion, but um, most people, you're, you're going to see at least 50% of the people, they're going to come here, they're going to turn this corner and instantly get into a firefight. It's quick action, you know, live action. And this is what, what they want to do. Which is, there, there's nothing wrong with that, but if you do want to do that, I suggest by the time you get to here, start loading a grenade up, and just kind of toss it over there in between these crates and that right there, and you should be able to get uh, first blood or something close to it, maybe an assist, whatever. And then make sure you just keep, uh, keep cautious, if you will, because everybody's going to be looking there. The other way you can do, which is I think the uh, more preferred route, you can still toss that grenade if you want to, but then you can come up this way and go down towards the bar um, and it's what this does coming out there it's you're, you're flanking around and like I said most people 50% of the people they're gonna come straight down this uh, this main alleyway here and you're gonna be able to flank behind them now the other uh, <coughs> excuse me the other side like I was saying you can either go through here or go up here and this is my preferred way because on this map I love to play a, a much more rushed style um, I wouldn't suggest this way, and the reasoning behind that is by the time the, the game starts, you come out here, you know, and you're, you're going to be looking here, and you're going to be looking here. Well, you have no real cover. You might have this, but there's a good chance somebody's there. There's nothing protecting you, and you'll see it's it's very easy to pick you off. So I wouldn't suggest this way. It's just due to lack of cover. Um, and not that the other way is better, but you will uh, you get to areas a lot faster, so... And it's more level playing field. So you come up here, you jump up here instantly, just run down here. And you have this uh, alleyway here if anybody's rushing up. But you come up here, you use the stairs, and nine times out of ten, there's somebody already, like, right here, aimed down, you know, firing off. Like, ah, oh, I'm going to give, you know, 32 first bloods. So you, you can take him out real quick. Come over here. Look to see anybody that, if they're, like, glitching right there, coming around there, if they just respawned and possibly over there. But as soon as you do that, as soon as you take out one to two guys right here, instantly turn around, reload if you have to, and come back around here. A lot of times when you kill somebody right away over here, they're going to spawn kind of down, um, down back in there. And they're going to know you just killed them right here, so they're going to want to get there the fastest way, which is over here. So there's a good chance that you can kill them twice within the first you know, few seconds of the game. And then you have all this cover right here. That is on this side of the map. Let's travel over to the other side. And it's kind of the same, but um, on this side you have uh, three general three general ways you can go. You can either go straight up the middle, you can go back and do a flank route, or you can go through the bar and do a flank route that way. You know, 50% of the people, they're going to run up here and they're going to get into that immediate firefight. And, ah, you know, 32 first bloods. So... I wouldn't suggest that. If you are going to go this way, either come over here, which I'll talk about in lines of sight, or kind of come over here, and at least you have something protecting you. Um, and, and no matter which way you go, I would always suggest, you know, tossing a grenade right off the bat, because it is such a small map, um, and you can at least get those hit markers, get those assists going. And, uh, yeah, so let's now talk about this way. Now, I would not suggest going this way. Um, for two reasons. One, because there's always, not always, but there's a lot of times there's at least one person using the rush route that I was just showing you, and you don't have much as you clear this corner. So, I mean, you could take it really slow, but at that point they might already be up there, and then they could uh, use that to uh, head glitch you and, you know, win that firefight. And you're not going to get too many people coming through here because they've already passed that area. So, but, um... If you are going to come here, just be very cautious. Make sure you check up there and then use this cover here. 
But if you do want to do a flank route, the way I, I really suggest is you come through the bar. It doesn't take long. Um, and don't don't come in here because you, you're just backtracking on yourself. Come all the way around here. And th this is my preferred route on this map. You come back here and almost everybody you'll see, you know, two, three, four guys. You know, they're all aimed down here, looking here. Um, you might have a guy like right here. You can just come up and if you don't have a silenced weapon, you're not going to last nearly as long. But if you have like the Honey Badger or something like that or the K7, which I uh, would definitely recommend, you know, you can come in here and just one by one take a bunch of these guys out. Or even if you have C4, that that would be that'd be pretty uh pretty sweet. All right, now we're going to talk about a few lines of sight. And uh, th there isn't too many uh, lines of sight in this uh, on this map. I, I think Infinity Ward really tried to work hard. With, I mean, they, they do have a lot of spots where you can, you, you know, you can glitch like this. Um, but they, they don't have a lot of long lines of sight. And um, I'm going to show you also uh, some search and destroy, you know, bo bomb sites uh, throughout the series. And they don't have a lot of those as well. So... That they really worked hard to try to keep everything, you know, somewhat fair. But there, there are a few little like uh, nooks and crannies in here. First one, crap. Okay, you can get up here. So if there's anybody uh, kind of camping out in here, um, or the more important way, get back up there. You can see clear across into the uh, into the other spawn over there. So you know, if you know you got a guy right up here or something like that, and uh, they're they're possibly spawning over here, you can just hop up here, maybe get a quick uh, kill or two. Let's see, where is some other ones? There was one up here that I wanted to show you. Do, 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 do. All right, now um, some people attempt to camp in here quite often, which you'll see. Um, they use this, and most people either, you know, just come in here and be like, ah, oh, I'm really hoping to get a headshot, or they use this little barrel here, which, you know, the. You don't have much mobility um the other guy's gonna win what you can do is hop up onto this barrel now you, you can't see the whole thing here um you can't see the whole bar but if there is somebody over on that side or on the edge of the bar um you will be able to see their head poking up and shooting through you know these things is not that big of a deal and you'll be able to get a headshot on them um and on the flip side of that if you wanna if you're coming around this angle and you know there's a bunch of guys coming up here just hop up in on uh, this table here, and you'll be able to see anybody coming through the bar, and you got plenty of cover, and they won't be seeing you because they're going to be looking at uh, the main bar there. They're not going to be looking over here. So, and if you even want to come up here, it, you don't have to actually jump; you can just walk. So, very, very helpful. Um, the other suggestion I have: it's definitely not a line of sight, but most people, when they come through here, they come put their body out, aim down sight to check the corner. By that time, you're already being shot at, and you're dead. So come around here, just, uh, again, I use tactical, so it makes it a little bit easier instead of just standard, but, or default, but, um, crouch and just use this real quick as you're coming through. It does not take long. Um, you can check and go. I guess the last one I want to show you, which is, I mean, it's pretty well known. You, I'm sure most of you have already seen this. But, you know, you come in here, you're very hard to see anybody that's in that little area there. And you can also see down in here. So. Alright, now, in Search and Destroy, I tried like hell to find um, bomb areas, you know, bomb plants. But Infinity Ward did a really good job of making it no matter where you see the bomb. I mean, you're... you're you're out in the open because they have flank routes on top of flank routes and flank routes for those flank routes and it's just it's just insane so there really isn't too much i mean like you can go sit way the hell over in this corner if you want and uh you know possibly be able to see something but at the same token like you know someone can still uh catch you off guard there there it's just it's a lot harder so but due to my frustration i did find a somewhat of a I guess you could say a glitch I don't know and hopefully I don't fail at it this time but you can come in here Oop. plant here on top of the bomb 
and, and it, this isn't going to fake anybody out, but it will add a couple, you know, extra seconds. And you come over here, and you see that piece of wood over there? You can land up on that. And then anybody that jumps up there, you'll be able to see their head just kind of poking up. Like, I know you can't see the bottom right now, but you should be able to see their head poking up and um, or even throw. Well, that was a fail. Eh, maybe C4. I don't know. I, I didn't completely test it out. I haven't actually used this in a match, but... Just, uh... Now what's here? Piece of wood. Boom. If they get up there, you see that little piece of wood right there? All you gotta do is jump down. Oh, fail.